Hello, friend Mormo here. Welcome to my feature length video product. It's going to be over 40 minutes, so it's going to be feature length. And I really strongly encourage you to watch it all the way through, or at least just let it play out. But uh, I really need that watch time. I can't monetize these movies. Even if I try, they usually get like an ad slap or they get like a yellow dollar sign and then I barely make any money. And but these are feature length video products and uh, I'm really proud of them. It's through a company f called Fail House Video and uh, if you want to partner with Fail House Video, there'll be two links in the description. Uh, one for Old Curly Jaws and one for Mormo. And uh, it's a membership, 20 bucks a month. And uh, we create content for you. If you're really serious, subscribe to both and get your content twice as fast. And uh, real quick, I wanna talk about like phase two of uh, Fail House video and that's gonna be to get on streaming and I'm gonna find like five streaming channels and uh, like mom and pop streaming channels and become a content and marketing partner with them and then uh, I'll be creating content and uploading it to different streaming channels and uh, so people can watch it on streaming and uh, So, oh wow, I just got some bad news about um, YouTube. And, but anyways, go ahead and watch this movie all the way till the end, or rather, this feature length video product. And uh, if you could, please write a few comments like describing the movie or what you thought of it. Leave a brief review. And uh, thanks so much and keep watching. Hello, friend Mormo here doing another feature length video product. And. Uh, Just recording some new footage. I'm gonna do some sharing is carrying footage. Right now I'm on Twitter. I'm gonna go over to YouTube. This is my YouTube channel. And uh, I'm gonna search. Um, let's search for review. Click enter and then we're going to go to filters and we're going to do um, upload date. Oh, this is a premiere. Let's check this out. There you go. This is my review of the Lucky Nerd Picture Show. I'm, I'm, he's live, so I'm going to say I'm sharing on Twitter. Um, I paid and him being in, 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 um, in and when he was in college, he and was then I'm going to uh, share video production. 
on Twitter. He was looking at it from a technical point of view. The cuts aren't good. Uh, the cutaways from the scenes aren't good. The shots aren't great. He was missing the point. <laughs> Oops, I pushed the wrong button. Darn it, anyways. Keep watching, keep watching. some diet Shasta Cola and uh, just getting a bunch of notifications Anthony Chabot just tagged me on Facebook and uh, I just wanted to make a video to talk about the future of Fail House video and I think it's going to be streaming on um, Roku channels. And uh, that's going to be the next thing is to get the movie streaming on Roku channels. And doing custom videos for Roku channels and stuff. And I'll just find like some mom and pop Roku channels that are just small. And then like become a marketing and content partner with them and market their product and uh, create original content for their channel. And uh, I think that's going to be the future of Fail House Video is going to be uh, streaming feature-length video products on multiple Roku channels, and uh, so I should probably should have started that tonight, but it's pretty late. Uh, maybe I'll do some research tonight. But real quick, we're gonna look at some reviews from um, Fail House. 
about Veil House video and uh, it's going to be awesome so keep watching but um yeah it's fucking it's crazy but, yeah well you go it's already 2.39 a.m. damn Gonna go to uh, this pizza place tomorrow. We have a little concert where I live, which I thought was really fucking cool. I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. Listen to some live music and chill. Been in the house a lot, so it'd be nice to get out. I did go to my friend's today, which was nice. She was really happy to see me, and uh, her sister was also happy to see me and her mom. The dad was asleep, which he had to work tonight, so I'm like, that's fine. Um, but it was nice seeing them. They were really cool people. They've always been good to me. I got an AVGN poster because of them. Which is really fucking cool. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video for Twitter, and uh, I thought it was a really fun video to make, and I'm going to do a lot of these videos, like these just short take videos and all that, and just giving my thoughts of the day and how it went. Yeah, I'll probably do another one of these tomorrow, so make sure to look out for that, and look out for feature like Fell House videos and all that good shit, and yeah, make sure to fucking subscribe, or not subscribe, well, yeah, subscribe to Mormo's, Mormo Zine's YouTube channel. Uh, make sure to uh, follow uh, Oak Early Jaws uh, official on Twitter. Um, this one right here that you're watching this video on, make sure to follow it, I really appreciate it. Make sure to share, I mean, retweet these videos, I really appreciate it, retweet all the videos. Yeah, that'd be awesome. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Peace. I got that good good. I got that action action. here at the Boonos and uh, been waiting about an hour to get a pizza and I still haven't came over to get an order. I'm really upset. Over yourself, motherfucker. I'm over it. <laughs> My drink's been empty for about three hours. I'm over this shit. Mormo, you need to fix this shit. This is unacceptable. Come down here and beat their ass. Do it. We got the
it's not easy being green, but it's damn fun smoking it. Roll it up with Gonzo and with Fozzie, and I'm joking it. Yeah, I run these streets, call them sesame. Fake felt other motherfuckers cannot mess with me. Cause I'm stress free, I smoke the good good. Hello, friend Mormo here. I'm on YouTube again this time. It's the Late Night Picture Show with Murph the Clown, which is a really long channel title. And it's review feature too, Blood on Satan's Claw. And uh, I'm a big fan of Murph the Clown. Been following him for a long time. <coughs> And uh, he's awesome, and uh, so I'm going to share on Twitter and tweet. <laughs> That's, oh man, Twitter is such a crack up. Twitter is very funny, and uh, real quick, let's try and find somebody else to share, but somewhere else other than Twitter, or something we can do, uh, I need to do the filter, sort by... Upload date last hour. Let's do it in the last hour. Oh my gosh. This is a short. Return to sleep away camp. Movie review from Strange Michael. Let's check this out. Hey everyone, it's Strange Michael. I hope you're doing well. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Get a copyright strike. Great video review. I sub. Gonna share on Twitter. Comment. So let's share on Twitter. Tweet. so good for traffic so bear knows the verdict the pizza was a 10 out of 10 the breadsticks cheese sticks were a 10 out of 10 the service was a negative 1 out of 10 it was dog shit um, the drinks were okay other than that Overall, I give the store a five out of. I give it a five out of ten because the service is a big part of it. You gotta do better. Good. Welcome everybody to Mormo Fest 2023. <laughs> They're all celebrating the life of Mormo Zine.
Bradley. Uh, his last name starts with an N. Mat- Mat- Mark- Mark- Mat- Matern. Huh? Matern. I knew it started with an N. Or N. Yeah. Yeah. He posted a, a GIF of Kevin Hart. Yeah. I said, fuck him. And then he said, he commented, what? <laughs> I said, he's a shitty comedian. I just Damn. don't like his... Oh, Why are you taking pictures of everything? Oh, your video is shit. <laughs> Just on my Facebook fan page, Mormozine, you can see everything. Mormozine is looking for review writers, and there I got some great reviews. I need to turn those into videos. But real quick, I'm gonna go over to home, and I'm gonna do some sharing. Is caring. I don't know if I should share everything, but uh, this Marco Bruiser thing, I'm going to share it, share now, public. Share to your profile. See, I'm not sure if I should share all of this stuff. Shiny fitness. What movies did you watch for the first time in May? I'm gonna say Heart. I'm gonna say. That's awesome. I'm gonna check this out. And then we'll go ahead and click on that. I don't, man, this video is probably gonna get copyright slapped, I bet. We got three comments. I'm gonna subscribe. Here I'm gonna turn the volume off and let it play a little while. I'm gonna say a great ranking video I'm gonna share it to Twitter Thumbs up. I want to hear what this guy sounds like. Captain America 2, Death Too Soon. Now, I'm not going to say too much about this movie because I got a review coming up for it. All right. So now, did I share this to Twitter already? I can't remember. I'm going to share it to Twitter. Tweet. I, apparently I didn't I forgot to share it to Twitter I'm 
anyways keep watching keep watching if HP Lovecraft had watched Fail House video he would have been able to describe the indescribable horror from a man who's banned on YouTube and a punk rock horror host on the verge of demonetization comes the company of a lifetime horror PLR rights, homemade tattoos, something called Turbo Cash Machine 6. It's all here waiting for you, waiting for you to fail. Welcome to Fail House Video. Looking for a hilarious and entertaining video to watch? Look no further than Fail House, produced by Mormozine and Old Curly Jaws. Featuring a collection of epic fails and funny moments, Fail House is the perfect video to watch with friends or family. Whether you're in the mood for some slapstick humor or just need a good laugh, this video has something for everyone. With high quality production values and expert editing, Fail House is a must see for anyone who loves comedy and entertainment. So why wait? Grab some popcorn, sit back, and enjoy the ride with Fail House. I went from having a nice, beautiful home in Florida to now live in down by the river in a van. Thanks to the success of Fail House videos. It's like a crack addiction. You'll spend all your money just to watch these two sit in front of the camera and bore you to death. Great investment purchase now. Highly recommended for high regards. Okay, friends, so there you go. There's the reviews uh, that have came in for Fail House video. And if you want to get involved, you can click the link in the description and join either through me, Mormon Zoom, or through Old Curly Jaws, and you can get into our program and become a part of Fail House Video. Just drinking some water tonight, and you can uh, become a content and marketing partner at Fail House Video, and uh, it's a monthly membership. Uh, I'm probably going to raise my prices here before this movie goes live. I think I'm going to raise my prices to 20 a month. And uh, Old Curly Jaws Network is 20 a month. And you can become a content and marketing partner. And uh, thanks so much. Keep watching. Hello everyone, Oak Early Jaws here. I'm going to be asking Mormo a bunch of questions in this feature length film. Now make sure you get out your pen and paper, this is going to be on the quiz and if you fail I'm going to kick you in your fucking Peter. Now make sure you write all this down because this is going to be on the test. Don't make me get Mormo. If you fail this test he will fucking power bomb you through a fucking jungle gym swing set. So Mormo. What is your favorite horror movie of all time, and why? Okay, friends, so Mormo here, and uh, Old Curly Jaws asked me what's my favorite all-time horror movie, and I'd have to go with Dawn of the Dead 78 from George Romero. I uh, just really love that movie. I think it's so smart with its social commentary. The whole series is that way. Um, Land of the Dead was also really smart with its commentary. But it was just like, it just said so much about society. and It was like a dark mirror looking at society and uh just really it's like an adventure movie mixed in with the horror movie kind of and uh 
big fan of Dawn of the Dead 78. That's definitely my all-time favorite movie. What is the worst food you ever ate in your life and why? Probably the worst food I ever ate would be a meal that I cooked for me and my roommates at my first house here in Missouri, up in Springfield, Missouri. I had three roommates, and one night I cooked Velveeta macaroni and cheese with hamburger, and I didn't drain, I didn't drain the fat on the hamburger, and uh, it came out really nasty. That's about the worst food I can think of that I've ever eaten, and this time I actually cooked it myself. So yeah, Velveeta mac and cheese with hamburger, without the hamburger grease drained. How does our audience get started in the full length video, video, you could bring back any celebrity that's been uh, on deceased, who would you bring back and why? For celebrity, I'd bring back from the dead, um, I'd have to go with Chris Farley just because I think he was so hilarious and that he died way too young. I'd love to see what movies he could have made. And he made it like a couple stinkers towards the end of his life. But I think he could have made some really brilliant movies and uh, could have toured doing stand-up and everything. I think he would have had an incredible life and just made so many people laugh and happy and everything if he could have lived longer. And uh, so Chris Farley is the celebrity that I would keep alive for sure, bring back from the dead. Chick-fil-A or KFC? And if you don't have a Chick-fil-A, why? Okay, Chick-fil-A or KFC? This is an extremely hard question for me to answer. I don't like Chick-fil-A. I don't like their prices. I don't like their quality of their food. I don't like their politics. I think they're not a good business to support. And uh, KFC in my town is really poorly laid out. It's it's very hard to get in and out of the restaurant. The um, parking lot is a nightmare. It's just a really poorly designed business. So I never want to drive there. And I love KFC chicken. So a real obvious answer is KFC. I much prefer their food and their prices and their politics and everything but uh they're just so hard to get to that i don't I, i'll never go there and so it's really kind of a draw for me even though i like kfc about a thousand times better just locally they're in a really bad place in my opinion what's your favorite way of smoking Joints, blunts, bongs, or what else? Else? Why could they? What? What else is there? Pipes. Like, what, what's your favorite method of smoking, and why? For me, joints is my favorite way to smoke weed. Um, I don't like rolling joints, but I love smoking them. So now you can buy these pre-rolls that are expensive but they're really awesome and really good quality I can get three shake joints for 20 bucks and um, they're incredible each one is a gram and um, they cost like each joint I could probably light and get high three times a piece off of a single joint so I love joints I love smoking in a bowl I'm not crazy about a bong I just don't have the lungs anymore for a bong 
but um, joints is definitely my favorite way of smoking weed. Mo, what's better, weed or shrooms? And why? This is a tough question. I would definitely say I prefer weed to shrooms because weed is just more chill and like right now in my life I take drugs so I don't hallucinate so it doesn't make a lot of sense for me to be doing hallucinogens but I don't even really smoke weed I smoke like hemp which is like has a small amount of THC but it's just a really chill buzz I smoke federally legal hemp which is like Delta 9 and um, that's what I'm happiest with smoking right now and I guess you could call it weed if you wanted to but I don't think it's actually weed I think it's actually considered hemp but that's my favorite right now final question how can our audience get in the industry of making feature length videos can you explain to them how they can get into this amazing marketing that you have created let us know if you fail this fucking test you're gonna get fucking pitted by a fucking walrus you don't want to know what that means it's in russia there's a lot of people on twitter who i think are really primed for feature length or there's a lot of people on YouTube who I think are really primed for feature length videos and uh, especially people who've had a YouTube channel for a while and if you have dead videos that are just sitting on YouTube and nobody's watching you might as well download them, delete them and then upload one feature length video of all of your videos connected together and uh, just make the one feature length video. Another way you can join um, Fail House Video on um, Gumroad, and that's just 20 bucks a piece, and you can join under me, Mormo, or under Old Curly Jaws, and uh, it's a great deal and we'll make content for you and then you just inject your own content but it's a great way to get started making feature length video products and uh i don't know i i like did experiments last month where i uploaded a feature length video product to Gumroad instead of uploading to YouTube regularly and I think I really broke even I made like 31 bucks on Gumroad and I, and I only made like 18 on YouTube but if I really hustled on YouTube I probably could have earned that 31 bucks extra on YouTube itself Like if I would have done more live streams and more individual videos and stuff and ranked some stuff and got some ad revenue and everything, but it's definitely cool doing feature length videos. I highly recommend it and keep watching, keep watching. So follow me on Twitter at Oak Early Jaws. Official. Do it. Really, you can see some great fucking content on there. Shit, I can't post on YouTube because they hate me. Sad face. Devil.
miss a show, I'm always tuned in to the whole host that's got me grinning. Momo's the name, he's got me spinning. From the creepy crawlers to the blood he's spilling. Watching Mormo, he's the star of the show. Horror so vivid, they're like a bad dream. He's got the skills to make us all scream. Forever the king, long live war host supreme. His wit is sharp and his jokes are chilling. He keeps our audience on their toes thrilling. From the old school classics to the new ones we're feeling. Marmo's got it down, always revealing. So keep watching, watching Marmo. He's the star of the screen. More so vivid, they're like a bad dream. He's got the skills to make us all scream. Forever the king, long live the whore, horse supreme. So keep watching, no one does it better. He's got it locked, Mormo's a whore host that can't be stopped. His show is a hit, it's a never a flop. Watching Mormo, don't you ever stop. So keep watching, watching Mormo. He's the star of the screen, whore so vivid, they're like a bad dream. He's got the skills to make us all scream. Forever the king, long live whore host supreme. To all my whore fans, you know the drill. Marmo's a host with all the skill. So keep it locked and never chill. Keep watching, watching Marmo. For the ultimate thrill.